Hi guys, in this episode of Shree series, we're going to be talking about calculating percentage composition um, of each element in a compound, all right? Now, this is obviously one of the most important aspects of chemistry, especially when you're looking at percentage composition of compounds, all right? So what's the first thing we need to understand? It's very, very important, um, even before you could calculate the relative molecular mass, you need to understand the concept of valencies all right we need to know the respective charges of your cations um, as well as your anions all right so it's really important that you understand that very clearly because once you get the correct chemical formula right chances for you to get the percentage composition of each element is high if you get the chemical formula wrong then you're not going to get the answer correct. So it's really, really important that you understand the chemical formula. If you've been following my previous videos where we talked about balancing ionic equations, I did emphasize that you guys need to be very thorough with your chemical formula of cations and anions, all right? So let's look at ammonium sulfate. I've purposely written it in words rather than chemical. So in that way, you guys can decipher what is the chemical formula, all right? So when you look at ammonium, please let's not mistake that with ammonia. I've seen a lot of students write down the chemical formula for ammonia and mistake that as ammonia, all right? So it's absolutely important that we follow the right and appropriate cation and anion. So if you look at ammonium, all right? Ammonium is N H4 and the charge of ammonium is plus one, all right. And if you look at sulfate, sulfate is SO42 minus, all right. So the reason why I'm able to understand or tell you properly that ammonium's plus one and sulfate's minus two is because I'm used to solving these questions on a regular basis, all right. Now that we've got Ammonium is plus one and sulfate is two minus. We swap the two. So your formula therefore becomes NH4-2SO4. So it's very important to write it properly like this. I've seen students make the mistake of going NH4-2SO4. That is wrong because you're telling me that that two is only applicable to H. You're trying to say that that 2 and H are related, but in actuality, it's NH4, the whole thing brackets, and we put 2, all right? So it's important that we are very, very thorough with our chemical formulas, all right? So that's ammonium sulfate. So what I'll do is I'll write, I'll write it separately so we can work through that. So we know that ammonium sulfate, we've established that ammonium sulfate is NH4. So we're going to put NH4 the old thing 2 and SO4, all right? Now, the next thing we need to do is we need to find out what's known as the relative molecular mass or RMA, all right? So this is where you look at each of the elements and write down their respective mass numbers from your periodic table, all right? So I want to explain this a little bit more because if you see here with NH4, and the whole thing brackets and you put two, you're actually multiplying each of your elements in the brackets by two. So what that means is that's the same as twice, twice nitrogen, because you've got two there, and you've got eight, because you've got four here times two, eight hydrogen, one sulfur, and four atoms of oxygen. All right, so that's what the interpretation means, all right? So when you've got numbers below, it basically means that's the number of atoms present, okay? So two nitrogens, eight hydrogens, one sulfur, and four oxygens. So this is where now we look at the mass number on the periodic table, and that's going to be two times 14 plus eight times one plus 32 plus four times 16. All right, so these numbers are present in your periodic table. So I'll repeat, the mass number of nitrogen is 14, the mass number of hydrogen is 1, the mass number of uh, sulfur is 32, and the mass number of oxygen is 16. So all I'm simply doing is multiplying the respective numbers by the mass numbers, all right? And 
get our calculator and work that out. So that's 2 times 14, which is 28, plus 8, plus 32, plus 64, and you're going to get 132 grams per mole. So that's the first step. You need to find out the relative molecular mass of this compound called ammonium sulfate. The next thing you need to do is find out the percentage composition of each element. So what elements do we have? I can identify nitrogen, I can identify hydrogen, I can identify sulfur, and lastly, identify oxygen. All right, so what I'm going to do now is calculate the percentage of each of the element. All right, so if we write down here, percentage of nitrogen, so that's going to be 2 times 14 over 132 times 100. All right, please note that it's 2 times 14 because in this compound, you've got two atoms of nitrogen. So that's why it's 2 times 14. I've seen students make a mistake and just put 14 because it said nitrogen. No, you have to refer to the molecule. So if you look at nitrogen, there are two atoms present. So it's 2 times 14. All right. And all you need to do is get your calculator. 2 times 14, which is 28, divide by 132, multiply by 100, and you're going to get 21.21 recurring. So I can put 21.21 recurring percent. Okay. So that is for nitrogen. All right. So let's look at percentage of hydrogen. So percentage of hydrogen, we can see there's 8. So it's 8 divided by 132 multiplied by 100. All right. Why are we multiplying it by 100? Because we're referring to percentage. So 8 divided by 132 multiplied by 100, and that's going to be 6.060. .06 All right. So you can go 6.060%. .06 all right. You can also approximate to decimal places as well, but I'm more interested in you getting the actual um, answer to this problem here. All right. So we've got nitrogen. We've got hydrogen. We now need to get sulfur. So if you look at percentage of sulfur, that's 32, 32 divided by 132 multiplied by 100. Get your calculator, 32 divided by 132, multiply it by 100, and you're going to get 24.24%. So it's always good to write down the approximate unit. So because you're looking at percentage composition, so your answers have to be written as a percentage. All right. And the last one, all right, is percentage of oxygen. Now, if you look at oxygen, there's four of oxygen atoms. So it's 4 times 16, which is 64 divided by 132 multiplied by 100. 64 divided by 132 multiplied by 100, and you're going to get 48.48. All right, so 48.48%. So what we've now done is calculated the percentage mass of each of the elements present in ammonium sulfate. All right. And when you add all these four percentages, so you get 21.21, 6.06, 24.24 and 48.48. It adds to 100 percent. So that's one way you can tell if you're going on the right track. All right. So just to summarize, in order to answer questions involving percentage composition of each element present in a molecule or a compound, you need to be very thorough with the chemical formula. If you didn't know the valency of ammoniums plus one and sulfates negative two, and you made the mistake of writing it, you're not going to get the correct answer. So it's very, very important you write down the chemical formula, the correct chemical formula. And from there, you work out the number of atoms present, you add them, and then get your relative molecular mass. And then you work your way to look at each of the elements, percentage of nitrogen. Like I said, it's not 14 over 132, it's two times 14, because in ammonium sulfate, you've got two atoms of nitrogen. So you've got to, you've got to make sure the number of atoms present will be that exact component of the element present um, in that molecule. Same thing with sulfur. Um, in this case, you've got one atom of sulfur, so that's why it's 32 divided by 132. If you look at hydrogen, you've got 8, and so it's 8 divided by 132 times 100, and then oxygen is 4 times 16. So what really changes is the top number. 
all right because your hundred which is your percentage remains the same and your denominator remains the same so it's really a numerator that changes and when you add them all together you will get 100 percent all right thanks guys for listening bye now